What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have a special guest here with me today that is going to be helping us on the kitchen remodel. Um, we are gonna be building floating shelves today and uh, hopefully putting up some lights, the two big pendant lights that we've like tried five different versions and finally found one that we like. But we've got Mike here. <laughs> I'm back at it. He's back, back at it. He's he's out here every time helping me on my project. Well, not every time, but I think the last one was the, uh, wasn't it the water line? Yeah, well, no. The it was, was the... the house, and oh, then the water there, line exploded, right. and then we went so and we worked on the well back. house. Right. Yeah, that was a disaster. Uh, I hope you didn't bring fun, that though. kind of luck with you this time. That was your luck. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. <laughs> it was. It was so bad. So Mike's going to be here. He's going to help me um, build these shelves, and then... We'll see if we get to running the electrical for Marcy's new pendant lights, which is going to completely change the look of the kitchen. It already looks good. It's so. it's That's coming along. To it. yeah. yeah. So That's I'm really, really excited. But I guess, Mike, tell everybody a little bit about your channel. All right. Fowler Family Farm, Facebook or YouTube. Go check us out. Uh, basically, we do the same thing farm-wise. I don't really show my home building stuff. I do the same stuff Crandall's doing. I don't have that much success on my videos when I show y'all me building stuff. People are like, yeah, not interested. So anyway, I just show my farm stuff, but I am doing the same stuff inside that Crandall's doing. It's made it great because Mike knows what he's doing and we can kind of just, you get two people that know what you're doing and it's like you got four people working. Yeah. So it makes yep. it really, really nice. So we're going to have to go up there and uh, they were, Mike was just looking at our countertops and saying that Tanya might want something like that. So oh, I think we may be going to do countertops at his house sometime down the road. Yep. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to build these. We're building actually floating shelves. So I'm going to weld up the brackets um, after I help Mike kind of get started on cutting the big pieces of plywood for the uh, shelves. So he's going to kind of work on the wood side. I'm going to work on the metalworking side. And we'll see if by the end we have something that will actually mount to the wall. All right, y'all, we're gonna try and cut down a whole piece of plywood. Definitely takes two people. It's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a trick. So I think yep. what we'll do. Start back. Yep. I can help guide this way. Let's we'll maybe push. turn it. Yeah. Just turn it up. Gotcha. Let's make it a little easier for ourselves. Before we go any further in today's video, I wanna give a huge shout out to Mike for coming out here and helping us with this project. As you guys know, he's been around and helping us with all sorts of different projects on the house. I mean, from the very beginning, pretty much. So a huge shout out to Mike from the Fowler Family Farm. You guys go over there, check out his channel. If you like what you see, subscribe, leave a comment, tell him that the Elder Tram sent you over there. I know we've, you know, collaborated with him in the past, but it would mean a ton if you guys don't follow him and you're interested in following him to go over there and like and follow his page. <laughs> okay, so the question is, is do we want to cut these all the length and then cut the 45 in them? I feel like it's probably it's easier way to more manage. precise. Yeah. If you try to cut the miter in these, it's going to be all over. You're going to get wobbles. Okay. But I would cut them first. Okay, let's do that. So, um, let's do the two foot shelves first. Um, do we want to just, I could probably cut the circular saw pretty. Yeah, or like, uh, oh. The chop saw doesn't do very big. Oh yeah, it doesn't, does it? freaking ridiculous. Yeah, just straight edge it with the circular saw. So your very last one could be a little bit short. Be short. Yeah. I'll try and. Uh, so here, give, let's do a complete measurement real quick. Let's make sure it's actually eight. It's a little over eight, so it might be way over you'll eight. get one saw blade extra out of okay. this. So, so I'll, I'll kind of cheat it on both. Or cut your first one, like at just shy. You know what, yeah, like twenty-three and seven eighths, and then just make every one of them after that the same. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Thing, I dropped this yesterday. I freaking bent the mm -hmm. one side. You know what we could do? 
We could, uh, now we could run them all through the table saw and yeah, you square could. them up and make them all the same, yeah. So is this the bottom one? Is this the leftover? Yeah. Okay, so we did so have a little extra. A little bit extra. Okay, so that makes sense. So just pick one that you want to win. Off the smallest one. Hopefully, Mike knows how to read a tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got everything kind of pre cut. He's just going to go through and square everything up. I got the front of the cabinet, or I guess it's not a cabinet, the front of the floating shelf cut. So, what's left to do on these is we're going to miter them, which basically means cut both of the angles at 45. So, when we put it together, it looks like one continuous piece of wood rather than a hollow box. So he's gonna cut down all of those to um, the right shape, and then we'll be able to do that miter. Gotta go just a hair shorter. Was it because that was the smallest one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it real quick. Let's see if that, yeah, see if it's square. That fence doesn't. Yeah, I want to square the fence. I just, that's still. Oop. It's <laughs> sensitive. Let's get that measurement and see what that is. It's 13 sixteenths. Bring yours in. A little bit more. Yep. this in too. Hold on. Did that move both of them in? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and loosen it. About three quarters? Yeah, just between the three quarters and the not, uh, 13 sixteenths. Oh my gosh, there are red wasps everywhere, you guys. <laughs> They're dangerous, I'm telling you. I got my stick. We both, us. both Mike and I got stung this last week, and yes. it is terrible. So anyways, like I was saying, we're going to build up one of these, and then I'm going to weld the frame so that it's a perfect fit rather than just trying to guess. Yeah, we. so basically when, when he builds the frame that's going to go on the wall, we don't want the shelf to go side to side. We want it to be like a sixteenth of an inch. And just sit. So when you push it in there, it doesn't have any hardly any movement. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> so we're going to get these mitered up. We'll see how good we are. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're testing. We got to see if our bar is going to fit in here. We're cutting it pretty close on our tolerances. Yeah, very close. Is that good? So just set it up straight like that. I'll hold it. Okay. It's definitely going to fit, and the good thing is you can probably use a very thin piece of shim if that, to secure it. If you have to. Once we get to. it all yeah. tightened up, it might. Yeah, if you have to. The, I think the top actually. Yeah, the top is going to. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty That's going to be perfect. That's <laughs>
that works pretty good y'all so let's show you so you get an idea of why we're doing what we're doing so we want this all to look like one piece so you cut it so it all just kind of folds together you glue it all together you can't really see the edges but it'll look like one folded piece together instead of 16 pieces <laughs> and then the uh the actual shelf support fits really snug in here so there's no wobble no wobble no lift no nothing it should just yeah it's gonna be solid okay check this out so we got two kits made basically uh we got it all mitered all put together so now we're gonna tape and glue these together and see how they come out hopefully they turn out pretty good i've got the brad nailer so we're gonna glue it and nail it at the same time so that we don't have to sit there and wait for the glue to dry yep We're just building the metal brackets. I'm gonna sand off the burrs and then we're gonna weld it together. Do your snow. No, here. He eats tape like nobody's business. Come Dude, here. Come here. Here. Come here. <laughs> Golly. So me and Mike are quality craftsmen, so we're really excited with how these are turning out. <laughs> More like maybe not. This one just blew off the table and completely self-destructed. So That's Oklahoma wind for you. The wind blew it over, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. We'll see if we can wood fill it. If not, well, we just maybe have to rebuild that one. That's the worst looking one out of all of them, so at least it happened to that one. Yeah, at um, least it did happen to this one. But we're going to get these brackets made nonetheless. Here's our floating shelf bracket. We've got four of them. Um, we're going to see how they work, if they're going to work. They're still pretty hot. Yeah, One? I think it's the right one. Yeah, just the ends are going to be really hot. The middle's a little too much. It'll fit. I mean, that's pretty much perfect. Yeah, that, hey, we did that part right. That's the only part we got right. Hi, Maverick. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty excited with how that turned out. The only problem is the shelf is a little well, wonky. This is the one that fell. So this the one this... the rest are like pretty savable. That one I think I'm gonna have to redo. A yeah. little bit of work. A little look better. Not too shabby. Let's go install one. So let's go put one up. Go least. put one up and yeah. see. Yeah. All right. See. Then you can take it off and do what you and, need to do. And and fix it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get the drill. We'll have to drill um, into these metal bars. That's going to be the hassle. Will you go and mark the stud and I'll get the drill ready? So I think the other ones or you think this one Let's do work? the one Let's and then happens. we'll figure it out. I honestly I think one would hold it cuz it's steel and we're not putting that much on it. Yeah, now if you, I would say only one more. One I don't more think you here. need to do. If you did do another one, I don't think you'd have to do two. Yeah, and put a just a drywall yeah. anchor in it. Let's go put this up though and just see. I mean, if it works we may as well hang all four of the shelves up yeah. so we can get a look at it. Yeah. And it'll look good. Right. But I'm going to paint these. I, I'll take these down and probably paint them. Okay. We're going to see if this will work. <laughs> Come on. And I can't see what's going on. Oh, there we go. Hmm. There you go, maybe. That side's a little tight. That's what I'm saying. Right up against the wall, you may have wanted to come off just a little. 
Well, I've got space there. I think it's the actual. Oh, okay. Thickness. So that's that. That's that narrow side. Remember, probably. Oh yeah. Is this? My hands are so dirty. Hold on, I'm making a mess on that. So we gave ourselves an eighth of an inch, but somehow and we lost it. It is so stinking tight. That one side over there up against the wall. Ta-da! That's what it was supposed to be. That right? easy. <laughs> so we had the wrong shelf this on there. This one, I don't know why. It's got, yeah. we're going to have to do something because it is so stinking tight but on this there. This one doesn't hit the end. Yeah, the problem is, is the wall is very not straight. Wait, somebody built this wall. I don't know who the heck built it. Because they did looks... not straight. Uh, Maverick, did you yeah. build this wall? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's not straight. So I can, I'll, I'll just cut the corner off the shelf and have to make that so it'll form fit. But yeah, we got a shelf in. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. I mean, it looks. It it's does... a perfect thickness. Is that? <laughs> oh, 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 now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Uh -huh. Before it was awful. I'll After we built them, I'll she's like, can y'all make perfect. them thicker? <laughs> I, I think, like, if you want me to get technical, I think that would have looked a little better. But a sixteenth of an inch bigger would have looked perfect. Uh -huh. That's eight, not quite. An eighth of an inch. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that eighth of an inch that you turned out. I almost wonder if they're too deep, though. Like, I wonder if they need to be, like, ten or eight, eight or ten inches. I don't think so. Well, I will tell you, I've never seen floating shelves that wide or that deep. Ours are like eight inches, I think, maybe. Yeah. I remember right. I, I honestly do think it's too deep. Which, I mean, all it takes is a shh, and you can cut it down to size. But I don't know. What do you think, Marcy? You like it like that? Yeah, because your hood is going to stick out further. Yeah. That's the only thing that might make it look better is the hood being out even yeah. further than that. That's that. true. So can I recommend something? Yeah. Just to make it sturdy? Well, are you actually going to take these off ever? No. If, if you do, they're coming off to stay off probably, right? Yeah. I was like, like, yeah, we wouldn't take them off. So I would, you probably don't have sheetrock on the other side of this wall. I'd go ahead and put a two by four even with this shelf. Uh-huh. And screw it in from screw the back side. That side too. That's a good idea. Yep. Straighten this out and then just screw it in. Yeah, that would that would secure that one side really, really well. That's but a good idea. You may have a pipe in the way. No, there's nothing there. This is just No, the shelf pipe. Yeah, if it's too long. Yeah. If I get one that's the right length, then it would because yeah. we've got at least half an inch that we can Yeah. Well not only really that, long. plus you have the pipe's not as deep as the shelf. Right. Yeah, it might work. It might give you an idea. Of that's a good security. idea. All right. Well, man, I want to get this. I want to put this other one up just for kicks and giggles. Let's do it. What do you think, Mars? About right there. Well, I think that one depends on your head. A tall has to go on top and bottom, not uh, just on top, because then it makes this shelf look stubby. Huh. I think that's fine. How did you not know that, Chris? I know, right? <laughs> but he might be right about it going across. So that it's means... idea. I mean, it's not permanent right now. But the only thing that I feel like would change that... Go back there, that... Mar Marcy, go back there and see if you like the height of this top one. Though. See, I can't tell him how the head. Oh, okay. See, I think you build the head and then decide where to place them. Okay. You got dirt all over Um... The only thing that I think would save you, well, okay, what you're going to run into is that shelf is supposed to end the backsplash. I don't know if you have enough backsplash to go that high. So it has actually been a couple of days since we've done anything on the kitchen. I know it probably doesn't seem like it on the videos, but we're making some progress. We uh, are getting these floating shelves finished. Let me show you guys. Honestly, um, as you guys saw from the video of us building these, our workmanship was 75% there. It was not that great. So we have a bunch of gaps that we're filling in the wood and I'm making it go from looking like this to this. Yeah. And it actually turned out really good. I'm really happy with this. So good. As long as we can get the stain color right, I think it's gonna work just fine. Marcy picked out a couple stain colors. We're gonna have to go try though. This is the hardest part. This is our round. This will be try number Five, six, and seven. I think we got three. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna finish filling these and getting them sanded. Marcy's making some orange treats. And then we're going to uh, show you guys what the stain looks like and see if we can get a stain that works. If we can get a stain that works, then we're ready to backsplash and put these up. Like that's a big deal to get that finished. Even if we don't have a stain that works, we can still backsplash. No. Nah. Yeah, you're right. I figured some of y'all are probably gonna ask, so I'm using a stainable wood filler and just using my finger to apply it and fill in all the cracks. So we picked up a couple more stains and we're fixing to go and try them. So let's go out there, grab a piece of wood. Seriously, picking out stain, you guys, has gotta be the hardest thing. It's all of the finished items. You guys know we had an extremely hard time picking out the, uh, backsplash and the light fixtures and it was like all of the little stuff seems to take the longest to find so let's hope that one of these two stains is going to give us the right color definitely not the color we're going for well you never know is that thunder it's so quiet out here. It's nice. Yeah, without all of the cicadas. Oh, yeah. wait, this one might be. It comes across kind of green on the camera, but not in real life. So don't worry, everybody. Okay. Let's wipe it out. That looks exactly the same as the wood, just like enhances Tinted. it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I like both a lot more. I like this one better. I do too. I just don't like how dark that goes. Even with all these stain colors, we just do not like any of the stain colors. None of them are coming out right. I don't know if it's the wood or what. We just cannot find one that we like. So Marcy's gonna try something else. She's actually gonna go get paint. And we're going to try and water it down and stain it with paint and see if we can find a color or make a color that we like with the paint. So Marcy spent the last like hour mixing, mixing. paints and colors of, it's not stain, we're actually going to use paint instead of stain for our well, floating we're, shelves. We're like still staining it. So we're painting staining it, with it on, paint. it's like wet. So it's super, super runny. And then you can wipe it on and off till you get the color that you want. So I... I was telling her I like that one so I, or this I one. So should I try to make it, like, is it... I would do it darker. Like a darker brown? Yep. Okay. Not even darker, just like, not wiped off as much. Okay, well, I can leave it on longer. The thing is, is you have to wipe it off. Otherwise, you have that thin layer of paint. Which I'm okay with, but... No, I don't want it to peel or anything. Yeah. Like, so I, like, want it to be wood where you can't, like potentially peel paint off okay so but see like i can just leave it on longer like okay. leave it on for five more minutes to stain it darker but i can also add do you think it needs to go more chocolate color i think it could here's the paint color she's come up with i don't even know what you would call that that looks pretty good so it comes out to be like this color kind of hard to see on the camera though Picture quality isn't really good for some reason, but we're gonna go ahead and throw it on these two and just just see. There's really no going back from it. I mean, we could put another coat on and make it darker or something like that, but it's kind of a one-shot deal, Mars. I know. I'm just making sure there's no like dark veining in here. Oh my gosh, Mars! Don't ruin it. I know. I like it already. <laughs> Honestly, it's drying pretty quick. Yeah, so into that I'm going to do the only one side and then I'll wipe it off. Just lay it down then. Alright y'all, we'll show you the finished product. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, that is what we were going for. At least I think. What do you think, Mars? Yeah, I like it. That is what we were going for. Oh my gosh, it's been a headache to try and get to it. We spent like $80 on testing different stains. And, and then, then we go with the dollar paint. We These are the each cheapest 80, thing. 85 cents each. So, life hack for you guys. Let's just say I am so excited to show you guys how they look on the wall, how they turned out, but we're going to say that for the next video. Uh, we have put the hood up. But we haven't showed you all the video about the hood yet, so I can't show you how it looks. But it is coming together. We are getting so close. We're kind of like, we're getting finished with all of the big projects in the kitchen. And it's going to be a lot of the small ones here coming shortly. But I'm so excited. It turned out how we wanted. It only took 10 different stain colors, 8 different paint colors, and a whole bunch of time. But we nailed the color. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't seen Mike's channel, I will leave a link down to it in the description. Go check him out. Say that we sent you over there to him. And we will see you guys on the next video.